Hi Aquarius, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading, always take what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below, where you can find the current list of reading services I offer. If you would like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is down below, as well the links to my uh, Instagram and TikTok pages don't forget to follow me there as well and subscribe to my channel so you're always updated in terms of what type of content and promotions are going on as i regularly um come up with those so aquarius i'll be channeling messages for the collective of your sign and then we'll tie it together as well with the cards that will be showing up so aquarius in the month of september I see like many of you are trying to sort something out. Like there's something really messing up here with your mind, like something you can't get, something you can't quite understand. I see many of you trying to figure out something, decipher something, find something out that it's very important for you. But I also feel like for some of you, there's like energies of... Um, changes actual changes in the home maybe you some of you are moving or what will be mo wanting to move or there's some sort of environment or uh space you are organ organizing like the logistics of it that's um a prominent theme in the month of september because i feel like for some of you queries it's something that is taking a lot of time a lot of effort for you uh, to get it right like some of you are very also connected with the aesthetic of something or the aesthetics your own physical aesthetic or the aesthetic again of environment and spaces or your home in which you are working on and you're very like there's something here about the energy of Aquarius really being mindful of what's going on around them you can see um, a lot of things that are that is taking place. Like you are noticing patterns, behaviors, synchronicities, uh, weird elements, elements that are not adding up. They're not making sense. Others that are, you know, like there's something about you being in the middle and witnessing what's going on you're a powerful witness in the month of september of some sort of situation circumstance in which there's various elements to it and you're like distinguishing each one of it and what's right what isn't what's true what isn't some of you aquarius um that have been struggling with doubts in anything you will be putting your doubts to rest in the month of September. Like once you find the answer, once you get to the bottom of whatever it is that you're trying to get, your doubts will dissipate. And I see like this very clear sky. So f where there was this very foggy energy, clarity will return. Some of you need to embrace a truth or the truth coming to you in September. And I see like some of you, it's like a hard pill to swallow for some reason. Maybe it's a truth that it's very different from the one you originally were convinced of. And accepting this truth that questions the one you have been living by or swearing by so far might be a hard thing for you to do because it challenges your ego some of you Aquarius need to take your ego out of the picture so that this truth can come in and help you and support you to higher levels especially truths related to things that are related to a path of uh, upgrade ascension things you you want to um, experience that are very very um different from 
it's like there's something about the ascension energy and process it's like yeah you have been in stage four where you should be or you already kind of are equipped to be in stage eight or ten you know it's like a big rise and the only thing that is stopping one stage where you are that's not as satisfying from you getting there it's ego for many of you and the fact that you're not embracing truth of course that for many of you this will manifest in several ways but i really feel like it's just about you honestly surrendering to how it is even if how it is again it's different from what you thought it's okay there's something about also you like you um not making things harder than what they need to be like it's okay that you were wrong it's okay that you you were convinced of a lie it's okay that you made a mistake you know like uh there's something about a compassion energy, like being more compassionate towards yourself and the mistakes or the errors of judgment you've made. It's okay. Um, because it's really the only, only thing I feel here for many of you stopping you. Now, for others of you, whatever kind of upgrade you're looking for to, to achieve, you're going to have that. But I also feel like at times you move too quickly for your own good when it comes to not thinking things through. It's like um, impulsivity. Many of you Aquarius, either you are overthinking or you are extremely impulsive and life wants you to be in a more like in the middle um, of these two motions, right? Where you think what needs to be thought through and then you act upon it. But to not fall into extremes, as I see many of you have this dynamic where either you are you know, in one or the other ex uh, extremes and then things don't really work that well. Or you repeat the cycles of mistakes that then it, you feel guilty or ashamed of, you know, like the cycle in which you are constantly punishing yourself. I also feel like for some of you Aquarius, you need to put Another thing that could be stopping you is guilt. So maybe you need to forgive what was. Let the past be in the past. Or someone, I also feel like someone that did you wrong in the past, like you could still be very uh, angry, hurt by this. And I'm feeling on an energy of a career that want revenge. This could also be stopping your spiritual evolution. Because what you want to get in life right now, in the material or relationship sense, is connected with your spiritual um, evolution. Even if you can't consciously understand the tie between those two. So if you're not evolving past anger, revenge, guilt, shame, grief. You can't ascend because you can't take that energy where you belong. And you belong there in that stage 10, but to go, you need to let go, get rid of all of those things that again, are based on wounded ego or a lack of acceptance as how things were being that was your fault or somebody else's fault it's time to let go of that what else for aquarius in september i'm also feeling like an energy of a lot of devotion i see like some of you are very committed to something like a hobby an endeavor skill something you're practicing to make it perfect some of you could be really into your hobbies as well in uh, September, like you're finding some sort of tranquility and peace through the beauty you create or through the 
the good results that come from you, right? When whatever kind of hobby you are doing. Hobbies can be like a good point of escape to relieve your, relieve your stress, your problems, your anxieties. Activities that provide pleasure and enjoyment to you at a very genuine level, like where you're not trying to earn something out of it. It's just for the sake of your own well-being. It's a good indication here of something you should do to balance your energies. Yeah, strength. So here with the strength arcana, I'm feeling like there's that feeling of you're resisting something. You're not allowing something to happen. Some of your queries are extremely stubborn and, and it's like, this is a good, you could be using the stubbornness to help you. And you, if for some of you, you are, you are using this against you. For others of you, also, this is speaking about you being able to have immense strength to go dig what needs to be digged, to go work on what needs to be worked, to go, again, take upon responsibilities and tasks that require a lot of strength, mental and physical strength. Others of you are resisting your urges. Or again, you have powerful, powerful desires and emotions, but you are being led to control, self-control. So you don't let anger, jealousy, because I'm picking on emotions that are very powerful, but coming from negative, darker places, especially anger, revolt, and a desire to attack. So if you appeal to the use of your mind, and again, you use that energy correctly, the balance between thinking and acting, you're going to have outstanding results. If you use that anger and you, 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 you channel it into creative means, you're going to do amazing things or hobbies. Even working out can be extremely helpful and healing for Aquarius in September. Releasing all of that energy in a physical way, it's shown as helpful. In other instances, I just feel like you are doing heavy work and this work at times can make you feel like you are there's something about you building your energy you're building yourself to a point of strength and courage and capability that is surprising to you for others of you there's also issues with your libido with your sexual drive that you're trying to control. Yeah, I feel like some of you are trying to tame your sexual urges to not fall into sexual impulsive behaviors or um, decisions based on just the sexual impulses. There could be something here about you having a powerful sexual drive but trying to channel that into something that could help you? Or are you waiting for some sort of moment to release all of that powerful sexual and creative energy? Yeah, I feel like also, this is speaking to me a lot of attack. You could feel attacked in September and needing to defend yourself, right? Needing to control, uh, and defend your energy against this attack coming from the lion. So you could be dealing here with some sort of person or influence that is very aggressive, dominant. You could be dealing with a Leo or this is a person that already started to try to attack you or provoke you in August, July, Leo season. And it's kind of coming into September as well. Don't I feel like someone is trying to, to see if they can shake you, bully you, tease you. The message here is for you to not give into this game. 
Others of you are having power struggles with your partner. Um, for those of you in a relationship, there could be a lot of power struggles. Who has the power? Who has the last word? A lot of this theme of who's dominant and who's submissive is a part of your relationship experiences and it could be bringing as well some friction, tension and trouble. But I keep getting that you need to know that you're powerful. So Aquarius that have felt down, depressed or discouraged, you're going to shift that mindset in September and understand that you are extremely powerful and you need to tap into that energy of power so that you sort out what's blocking your path. For some of you, again, you could find that you are your own enemy here. For others, if there is an outside projection of this enemy energy, to know how to take it out of your way and successfully climb the ladder. But I also feel like, again, the energy of the, um, it's like the, the influence of the power of the Kundalini awakening. So you could feel like weird things in um, September related to your body. Like your, your body is giving you as well a lot of uh, signs and symptoms that something is going on related to this ascension energy and frequency. Uh, and you could you could be doing something again related to sex sexuality that it's a part of this journey or you're going to have a powerful sexual experience that a sexual experience that awakens your own power unleashes something here very important Aquarius in the month of September. What else? Yeah, I'm feeling like an energy again, a power struggles in your relationships. Like, even if you don't have a partner and you're just dating, or you, you're going to be dealing with an energy here of someone that one wants to go fast and the other one wants to go slow. Again, we go back to that. This is a mirroring that energy of the overthinking and the impulsive vibe and needing to find a balance. So your, your, your person of interest could be extremely impulsive and aggressive and wants to move fast as you try to put the brakes or otherwise. Maybe you are the one that wants to move fast and this person is putting the brakes. There's a need to understand this is reflecting something deeper of your own. And the fact that some of you don't want to give in to the ego thing, like that control, you don't want to give in to the middle, to the middle ground where there's a compromise. You want your way, your pace, your time. Now, eight of wands, again, a lot of excitement, news coming in. I see a lot of passion in your month, Aquarius, and a lot of um, desire to use this passion to help you in your journey. So I actually feel like it's a passion that mostly is productive. You're going to be learning how to use all of this passion to something helpful, as you are also learning about how to better handle your energy so you don't sabotage your growth or your relationships and you actually make them excel i also see like you being an important figure here to help people like to lift them up for those of you that already successful understood the lesson you're going to be the one bringing in as well a lot of support for people you are a very powerful helping hand as well here Maybe someone is going to need your help with this Eight of Wands. They're going to reach out to you to help. And you're going to be assisting and handling a situation just right. 
a situation even that can involve some sort of crisis or intensity it's like you you will be good dealing with intense energies because those intense energies are going to put the test if you have or not mastered here this lesson of the strength arcana now again with the eight of wands this is a quick fast motion and either you're you're afraid of the fast movement or you want to move too fast be aware the eight of wands is always an energy that comes in swiftly things moving very fast it's a very fired up month for you so all themes related to fire energy is important you're going to be feeling the heat the anger the passion the enthusiasm uh all of it fire is a very interesting energy that you should study the element to understand how this correlates to your experiences but it's also an element that speaks a lot about the self and uh, the power in you your autonomy your bravery it's like the energy of the the use of your own inner inner beast you could be I, I'm feeling a lot of that song of uh, just stone the right to be wrong you, you really want to do things your way in September and even if you are wrong you're just going to do what you want to do But I'm also, also feeling like you're trying to do, um, like to correct wrongs. I keep getting like, someone is gonna pose a challenge for you here in September. To open up like, or let go. That could even be like some sort of um, very raw, almost angry moments in terms of communication via phone something about the voice if it's not phone it's directly but there's something here about the projection of someone's voice very loud angry passionate what else is a final message it's just As I said, you need to channel this passionate energy to good use. Some of you, it's a new hobby, a new job, um, something you want to fix in a home or in a environment, a business space, where you'll be very focused on detail, decoration or functionability, making sure that something is functioning appropriately. Others of you, you are dealing with an earth sign influence or a Leo uh taurus virgo capricorn influence it could be someone younger or someone that is not as um someone younger someone not as experienced on you on a specific issue or a, new, a connection that it's in the beginning stages of sorts but that you are again feeling that resistance of really giving into this or not investing in this or not also this is related to the fact that you're trying to sort out something find the coin find the answer find the value find the right it's like you, you some of you Aquarius want the right like confirmation you want a confirmation that something is or not as you think it is and again for some of you, you might find out that it's different and that is going to activate a lot of strong feelings in you for others of you it's just going to find that um there's a lot of that push and pull magnetism a lot even in terms of work i feel like you could have a lot of um some sort of in, a lot of in, 
a passion and intensity related to work and money matters that it's not normal, that it's not like usual for you. It's like September, it could be a little bit difficult for some of you Aquarius that are more rational because everything is going to be triggering you a very powerful emotion and sensation, even in terms of your body itself. So I hope you have a great month. Hopefully we'll see each other soon.